Good evening and welcome to Controversial TV's latest segment in the Press Group series. On today's agenda, we will be exploring homelessness and its associated oppression due to societal views and attitude formation models. Homelessness is the state of having no permanent dwelling. Current statistics show in Australia that 50 out of every 10,000 are homeless, which has been on a steady incline over recent years. Homelessness affects a wide range of demographics in Australia, irrespective of gender, age and cultural backgrounds. Unfortunately, homeless people face many obstacles, including lack of security and safety, poverty and hunger, to name a few. However, to make matters worse, society often has negative attitudes towards homeless people, which creates further disadvantage and oppression. In saying so, we'll now get into attitude formation models. An attitude is a value assigned to someone or something which determines an individual's behaviour. Attitudes are not fixed concepts and are always being challenged, reaffirmed or reshaped. According to the tripartite model, attitudes are structured based on the effect, which is emotions, cognition, which is beliefs, and behaviours, all three of which are all linked and interdependent in creating attitudes. Media is one of the most significant contributors to attitude formation, as media appeals to or manipulates an individual's emotion and presents them with information. However, often media is biased and misconstrued, meaning that it is wrongfully informing and shaping people's opinions and attitudes. However, due to the high demand for media and its dense saturation within society, people are being subconsciously influenced. For example, society's common misconceptions and beliefs about homeless people include beliefs that homeless people are dangerous, uneducated and unmotivated, all of which is being directly fed to them by the media, even though this is not really the case. Which leads us into our first critical question. Why does society largely have negative attitudes towards homeless people? The media is largely responsible for society's negative attitudes towards homeless people because the media fails to cover the real reasons behind homelessness, such as disabilities and family breakdowns. Instead, they portray homeless people in a negative light through their use of embellishment, exaggeration and skewed and out-of-context information, hence creating stigma against homeless people, which leads to negative attitudes and further oppression. For example, an article published by The Age in 2016 entitled Inconsiderate Vagrants, The Mean-Spirited View on the Homeless, exposes the fault of media in being unempathetic and discriminatory. The article touches upon how media and businesses are wrongfully using their platforms by being derogatory and exclusive, which is then being mimicked by society. For instance, the language used by the media is often dehumanising, which then coupled with snippets of out-of-context information creates an inaccurate depiction of homeless people which then angers society. For instance, it is reported that a member of the public was unsympathetic because homeless people infest the streets with vagrancy, further suggesting that buses should come to collect and remove those people. Hence, his frustrated and abrasive attitude can directly be linked to the false messages that the media sends that homeless people are burdens on society, lazy and dangerous. Which leads us into question two. How can pre-existing negative attitudes towards homeless people be counteracted? However, there is great opportunity for society's negative attitudes towards homeless people to be reversed if the media uses its power and influence to shed light on the reality of homelessness. For instance, the SBS's TV series Filthy Rich and Homeless is beneficial as it shares before, during and after interviews of wealthy people who experimentally leave their comforts to experience homelessness, thus shedding light on the reality of homelessness while simultaneously breaking down common misconceptions. For example, before beginning the experiment, rich contestant Kayla Fennett said if she was homeless, she would do all that she could to get herself out of that situation, which alludes to society's broad misconception that finding a way out of homelessness is a matter of trying harder. However, during and post the experiment, Kayla was reduced to tears as the realisation dawned upon her that being homeless is not an easy fix. Kayla went on to state that her views have been dramatically changed, changed while she also vowed to try to assist Australia's homelessness crisis. Hence, such a show is powerful as it shows the baseless nature of misconceptions whilst revealing to society that homeless people are vulnerable and inspiring us to have empathy and work towards reducing oppression. L lastly, why is there a need to change society's current views and attitudes towards homeless people? 
Ultimately, there is a dire need for a societal shift in views and attitudes towards homeless people so to increase inclusivity, as more positive, empathetic and helpful attitudes will result in more support for homeless people, meaning that they will be more likely to break the cycle and improve their quality of life. More so, by society changing their attitudes, younger generations will learn from such and adopt those attitudes, meaning that, that an inclusive and considerate society will be developed for the long run, which is essential for inclusivity and ending homelessness, which can be a possibility for Australia in the future. Hence, in conclusion, the, the media is a powerful tool which can either accelerate the oppression of homeless people or it can foster positive attitudes by inspiring and educating society to improve inclusivity. Thank you for watching.